Alrighty, welcome back everybody. Today we're going to check out how to use preset templates in AX8 Edit. This is kind of like analogous to using the blocks library, but on the level of presets rather than individual blocks. So I've got a preset here that I made as my main gigging preset with my band Ragdoll. As you can see, there's a couple of different things going on. There is basically this Friedman 18C45 with an impulse that I made and a drive pedal and a little bit of uh, studio reverb. Basically sounds like this straight up. I'm actually playing a Strat at the moment. <laughs> And then there are a couple of different scenes that I use for different sections of songs. For example, this rhythmic delay scene. And this scene with the rotary speaker. And then my lead scene over here, which kicks in a parametric EQ basically to boost some mids and some levels. So that's what's going on in that preset. If I like that and I wanted to build a bunch of presets, either for different gigs or different songs using, say, different amps or different effects, what I can do is I can go to settings. No, don't go to settings. I want to go to preset. Uh, it's too early in the morning. And basically just go save as template. And then you get the option to save this in your AX8 library which should come up right now. As you can see here, you know, I might save this one as a main gig. And then it's saved. So for example, if I want to start a new preset and say instead of the rotary speaker, I wanted to have a flanger. Say there's a song in the set where I don't need that rotary sound, but I do need the flanger sound. So I'm going to use this preset just for one song. What I would do is go preset, new from template. I can go main gig and is going to load up that exact same setup. As you can see there, I've got it back. And now let's swap out the rotary for a flanger. In this case, I've got this really cool flanger that I dialed in, which is based around like the sort of ADA flanger as made famous by lots of people, most notably Pat Travis. So on scene three now, what I can do is I can save this, let's say, We'll save this preset as preset B. And then I'll just go through and I will save the flanger state on each scene, which is pretty cool. I want it on for scene three and I want it off for scene four. So there we go. If I needed to play this, you know, imaginary song in the set where scene three had a flanger, it will now sound like this. <laughs> And for the rest of the set, I could simply switch back to my main preset where scene three sounds like this. Another situation this would be really handy would be if you were using one preset per scene in a gig situation, for example, you needed you know, specific different time-based effects or filters or something like that from song to song, and you arrange your banks, say for example, song one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and on and on. And then basically you go to each new song in the set, you go to each new preset, and then you've got different effects in there, but with the same amp, cab, you know, filter, all that kind of stuff, all the main stuff that you would want to stay the same. And uh, yeah, basically it works really, really well as a way to organize your presets using the old preset save as template or load from template. It will save you heaps and heaps of time. You can of course use this together with the blocks library as well. You know, if you save all your favorite effects as blocks, then you can bring up this preset template and then simply just drop in and out different blocks. So that's probably how I would use it if I was using a one song per set kind of thing. If you enjoyed this video, please check out my other tutorials and hit the subscribe button. Cheers.